A parking ticket would have been bad enough. Instead, this council accidentally crushed Wendy's car. And if you think it can't get much worse than that, well, it can. Destroyed. Destroyed? Destroyed, yes. This is how hoons are punished. Crushed. Crushed. Crushed, apparently. But Wendy Tucker isn't a criminal. She's an innocent grandmother. Oh, it's pretty upset. I can imagine. <laughs> it's your car. Yeah, no, that's right. This is how Wendy's much-loved car spent its final moments. Crushed by a council that some say is Australia's most incompetent. After all, oops. It was a mistake. Someone's head's got to roll. I mean, who does this stuff? And they're going, oh, you know, can't hear anything, don't want to know. The drama started at Point Clare on the New South Wales Central Coast. Well, my car was parked here, just over the road. For eight weeks during COVID lockdown, Wendy parked her registered and reliable 97 Toyota Camry near her daughter's place. Then one day, it was gone. So I rang the police hotline. Um, you rang the police because you thought it was stolen? It was stolen, yeah. So what did you Wendy's to... family also rang rangers from Central Coast Council who confirmed the Camry had been towed and impounded after neighbours complained. While that's completely legal, the next day, Wendy says council called back and admitted it had accidentally... Oh, Wendy's car. Rest in peace. I thought they were, you know, exaggerating, but no, it's apparently been crushed completely. So. They don't muck around. No, no. Well, they do with some things, but not with, not with that, apparently. <laughs> Usually, before the car gets to this point, there's a warning letter. Only in Wendy's case, it arrived after the car had already been, well, cubed. That's incompetence <laughs> at its best, isn't it? Yep. Pretty much. They towed Absolutely. the car and then crushed it. Crushed it. Crushed it. Crushed it. Who did that? Council. Council? That's ridiculous. This is what the car... We tried to explain like to the ratepayers on the Central Coast what had gone down on their back streets. What if I told you a car kind of looks like that now? <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty intense. I wouldn't be too happy about it. Are you surprised that they've crushed Wendy's car like this? No. Uh, look, they've crushed a lot of things. Come on, it's Central Coast Council. <laughs> it's like that. It's like that. Right now. Yeah. So, well, the other party should pay for that. It seems Council thinks this is a bit of a joke. Two, three months, that's right, three months after admitting to Wendy that it accidentally crushed her car, there's been no offer of help, no formal apology. And now Council has told us... It's hiring lawyers with, you guessed it, ratepayers' money. This council racked up the largest financial debt and financial loss of any council in Australia, and it's now gone to an all-time high on its incompetence and embarrassment. Greg Best was a councillor on Central Coast Council before it was placed in the hands of an administrator. And to add insult to injury, they're now going to use Mrs Tucker's money as a ratepayer to take her to the lawyers to demand a reduction in their compensation payout. Go figure. I mean, these people sit back in their ivory tower with their drawbridge up and fortify themselves against Miss Tucker. She's now the enemy because she's come at them saying, come on, guys, fair go. I want something for my car. Oops. And it's not just the car that Wendy wants back. What did this car mean to you? Oh, everything. It's my only car. I um, had, had things in it, that personal belongings and, um, you know, uh, emotional things, I suppose. Um, yeah, I don't, so don't you get attached to your vehicles, regardless of how good or bad they are. For the past few months, Wendy's had to borrow her daughter's car to get to and from work. She doesn't know where her actual car is, or her child seats, or her personal belongings. That's right, council won't even tell her that. It is upsetting, and I just thought the council would have been, um, you know, more well, forthcoming, I suppose, with Warm, some compensation. Less heartless, yeah, maybe. Well, yeah, that sort of thing. 
They might have wrongly crushed Wendy's car, but this 61-year-old says she won't be letting them crush her spirit too. What a time to suddenly become efficient. A council says it will be providing compensation to Wendy, but it won't say how much. We will stay on the case. Stay tuned.